Chris, let's start off with round two of Phantom Crabbers, this matchup between Hampton High and Phoebus. It's an age-old rivalry. This time, it's got title implications on the line. At Darling Stadium out in Hampton, it was five weeks ago these two teams last met. A dominating victory for Phoebus, 37-12, looking to make it one more time. Unfortunately, the Phantom's offense would cough the football up, and Hampton takes over early. An uncharacteristic Phoebus turnover early on, and Dave Wofford and the Crabs are going to try and take advantage of it here. But you see this Phantom D is going to be stingy. Dallas Cogdell runs head on into that Phantom's interior line. Now Watford finds Kevin Bellamy out of the backfield for a short swing pass. Now Watford will pitch to Bellamy on the option play, and Bellamy gets inside the 10-yard line. And Kevin Bellamy wouldn't be done. He'll take the handoff and pile two yards into the end zone for the first score and the first lead for Hampton, 7 0 the advantage. That's right, Phoebus in uncharacteristic territory is trailing here early. We'll move now to the second quarter. Phoebus with the position, with the possession, excuse me, quarterback will drop back. He's going to look to his left, find a receiver, make a nice move along the sideline, pick up some yards before knocked out of bounds. Jordan Roby finding Tyree Lee on the halfback screen. Now Lee takes a handoff out of the backfield. A nifty couple of moves before he's finally taken off his feet. Roby trying to find the score, the tying touchdown for the Phantoms. Instead, finds Kevin Bellamy, the linebacker, with the interception. And Hampton with another turnover, still leading 7-0 over Phoebus. Dave Wofford now taking the snap for the Crabs. will hand off to his running back, who finds some nice room to work with, moving up the sideline before knocked out of bounds. Great run there from the Crabbers, who have taken advantage so far of two Phoebus turnovers. The last time the Phantoms trailed was the Woodside back in October, and they still find themselves down 7-0. Roby looking deep downfield for Breon Key, but the pass is going to be knocked away incomplete as Desmond Generet with a great defensive play. Watford now will take the ball on the snap, find some room on the left side, try and extend it out to the sideline before he's tripped up. And a great effort there as we go to the half. Hampton on top, 7-0, to and you see that FIBA sideline very quiet here. FIBA shut out for the first time since last year's game against Hanover, in which they would come back to win. We'll see if they can do it this time in the second half. David Wadford takes the quarterback keeper, runs up the right side, picks up good yards, sets up a fourth down and one, and Coach Mike Smith with the risky call of going for it in his own 39-yard line. Wadford hands off to Bellamy, and Bellamy is stuck and held up before reaching the first down marker and it'll go back over to the Phantoms. That's right, you see a few chain links short of picking up the first down, and Phoebus with great field position will hand off to Lee here. Gonna try and take advantage of this short field. Now Roby will drop back, look to throw the ball here, throw it to a receiver, it was behind him, and the pass will wind up incomplete, and it will set up this field goal opportunity. Eric Anderson with a 42-yard attempt, which is up and good, and Phoebus on the board for the first time tonight, still trailing 7-3 to Hampton. Now going on to the fourth quarter, the score remains the same. Hampton with the football, Watford back to pass. Instead, will look to run, keeps it himself. But that Phoebus defense is there to stop him. Skylar Hutchinson, a chance to make it a seven-point advantage again, misses the 39-yard field goal attempt, so it's still 7-3. Roby will take the snap for the Phoebus Phantoms handoff to Lee. Lee will move the pile, picking up a handful of yards here. You see the Phantoms trying to Keep uh, trying to keep the ball moving here. Lee will break this one to the outside before he picks up some blockers here as the Phantoms still trail here. Lee with nine carries on this drive, a drive that would go to the six yard line, fourth and goal. Phoebus needing a touchdown with three minutes left in the game. Roby back to pass, looking for a receiver who's only made six receptions all year. Daquan Romero makes the catch, falls it in the end zone, and the touchdown and the lead to Phoebus. Phoebus now with that touchdown. Taking the lead, we'll take another look at it here. Romero coming from left to right, makes the catch, absorbs the contact, and falls down in the end zone for the touchdown. With Anderson on to add the extra point to make it a three-point lead for the Phantoms, he would indeed make it 10-7. Under three minutes to play now, Hampton with the football with a last second or last minute drive in the hands of David Watford on fourth down on the shadow of his own goal line. He's gonna get sacked in the end zone, the safety for the Phantoms who now lead 12 to seven. With the ensuing onside kick going out of bounds, Phoebus would take over and take the victory knee as they would be division five Eastern region champions once again, defeating the Crabbers 12 to seven. So I will take a look at the final stats here, 12 to seven for Phoebus over Hampton. Daquan Romero with that six yard touchdown catch. This was the 43rd consecutive win for Phoebus in his fifth straight Eastern region title. Kevin Beverly, 10 rushes with 43 yards and a touchdown. And Dave Wofford finished seven of 11, 68 yards and no interceptions on the season. 
As we take a look at the Division 5 state semifinal matchups on December 4th, it'll be Stonebridge taking on Osborne up in Osborne High School. And Phoebus will be playing Dinwiddie at Dinwiddie High School up in Richmond. And just a reminder, the VHSL football championships can be seen live here on Cox 11 on December 11th. Division 5 will kick off at noon and Division 6 shortly thereafter at 4 o'clock.